everybody. Um, so Bruce asked me to share my testimony with you guys. And this is gonna be less like a story of my salvation and more just an example of how God has worked in my life and how he's still working in my life, I guess. So for those of you watching who may not know me, uh, I'm Jessica and I am the youngest of four kids. I was born here in Truro and raised here as well. Um, I grew up in a Christian home. Uh, we rarely ever missed a Sunday service, both morning and evening. And so I was saved at a pretty young age after Sunday school one day. Um, I would say that growing up for me, my life seemed pretty easy. Like I always did really good in school and I was blessed to have a lot of really good friends. Never really had problems with bullying or anything like that. Um, I was really close with my family and my siblings and never experienced loss. Um, my life did start to change a lot, however, near the end of high school. Um, one week before my prom and graduation, my parents sat my sister and I down on the couch and my mom told us that she was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia and she would have to go through several rounds of chemotherapy and radiation and she would lose her beautiful thick blonde hair and she would have to have a bone marrow transplant and it was really hard for me that September because I had to leave home and move to another province as I started my first year of university. Thankfully, it was just one province over and wasn't too far away, but it was still really hard for me not to be home and be with the family, especially through all of that. Um, still my first year in the spring, my mother called me and she told me that she reached remission, which has been, she's like cancer free. And that was the happiest I've ever been in my life. Um, one year later though, however, on June 17th, after my second year of university, um, that day the ground really fell out from under my feet because that's the day that she passed away. And I was, I was very lost. Um, I remember just thinking like, I'm a teenager, like I, I have so much of my life left and I need her here, I need my mom here for that. And I I had so many questions, I questioned everything and I wanted to know how God could allow for one of his kids to go through so much pain and I just wish, like, I thought that if I could see a little bit of his master plan and why he allowed it to happen, then maybe it would hurt a little less bad. Like so many people were praying for her and that God would heal her. And I always truly thought that he would heal her. Um, she selflessly left us all letters. And one thing that she wrote in my letter was, um, it's not the load that breaks us, it's the way we carry it. And that's just something that I always I thought of a lot and I guess I just began to realize that I would never have peace from understanding why God didn't answer our prayers the way we wanted him to even though we prayed so hard for him to and for so long I got so many people to pray with us but I instead managed to experience this supernatural peace when I chose to trust God and by knowing that no matter what's going on in my life and how heavy my load is, he's still in control and he's there with me and he's not gonna fail me. And one verse that I kept going through, going to like over and over again after my mom died and still now all the time is, um, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Uh, and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. And I often just repeated the first few words of that verse over and over again. My grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. And I guess just 
reading those words, I, I realized that God is really all I need in this life. And with his strength, I can literally get through anything in this crazy world. And because I still often have hardships and trials and will continue to make mistakes and mess up, like it's a daily thing for me to have to remember who God is and what he's done for me and how he loves me more than I could ever understand. And so it's a daily thing for me to have to trust him and to give him control of over everything in my life. And that's not always an easy thing to do. And I guess I'll end with a verse that I find really comforting and it's one of my go-tos. Maybe you'll find it comforting too. Um, it's John 14, 33. Um, These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world.